What's going on guys? Today we're gonna fix these stripped spark plug threads with this insert. Everything I need to get this done should be in this kit right here. This kit has a drill bit to drill out those old threads, this countersink tool to fit the outside lip of this insert, a tap to create new threads, and lastly, this insert tool. To get started, we have to drill out those old threads. I'm applying a little bit of WD-40 as a cutting lubricant, as aluminum is pretty soft and I find that this is enough. With those old threads now removed, we can grab that countersink bit, apply some more lubricant, and countersink that outside edge. As of now, those old threads are removed, this hole is countersunk, we can finally start cutting in some new threads. Using the provided tap, lots of lubricant, and even more time, I was able to slowly tap some threads into this head. This video here might look a little shaky, and it probably looks like I'm speeding through this, but this is actually fast forward in 10 times speed. And this process took quite a bit of time. How this tap works is you want to give it a slight turn to cut some new threads, then you want to backtrack to remove any burrs, and you want to continue this process until you're all the way through. Now that the new threads are cut, we can clean up all those metal shavings and prep this head to install that new insert. I'll be using this high temp thread sealant to hopefully hold this insert in that head. After seeing what this thread sealant looks like when I started applying it, and I read a little bit about it, I may have chose the wrong type. If someone can comment below and let me know, that would be appreciated. Being I specifically purchased this thread sealant for this project and I already had it, I decided to go forward with giving it a shot anyways. I installed the insert with the provided tool and left the tool installed to give some time for this sealant to cure before I try to remove it. With the insert in place and that tool removed, it actually looks pretty good and that sealant seemed to actually do a pretty good job of holding that insert in place. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and come back soon to see some more videos on my journey fixing up this top end on this 19 1984 KLT 110 three-wheeler.